Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Yet another amazing video in which I am going to take up a very interesting concept. The concept of cubing numbers. Cubing can only be done using one traditional approach and one identity based method. The traditional approach you all know we have to just multiply like suppose you have to do 78 cube so you have to do 78 times 78 times 78 takes a hell lot of time right the alternative to that is the identity method a plus b whole cube where you write four numbers a cube 3a square b 3ab square and b cube again takes a little bit of time but for some special numbers we have some special methods and once you start studying them you have a bag full of tricks which you can use and use anywhere. So the topic for this video is the cubing and that cubing is for three digit numbers ending in one. Yeah, for this video the numbers ending in one, three digit numbers. The answer is going to be a big big number because the number itself is a three digit number. Right? So watch the complete video to learn something really, really interesting. Let's take the example of 141 cubes. So I want to do the cube of 141. So this is practically 141 times 141 times 141. So first of all, I'll do the multiplication of these two using the shortest possible method. So when both of the numbers end in 1, you have to write a 1 then a slash then the number here is 14 and number here is 14 so 14 plus 14 is 28 and 14 times 14 is 14 square which is 196 and now start writing from the unit digit 1 8 2 gets added to 196 this becomes 198 so 141 square or 141 times 141 is actually 19881. Now what do we have to do here? Now we still have another 141 here. So I have to do another time 141. So I will use the same method now. Since the two numbers are ending in 1. So I will write a 1. Then I will add 1988 and 14. And this will give me. Uh, 2002 if I am not wrong yeah and then the multiplication which you have to do you should know 14 times table to multiply 1988 and 14 so if you multiply this this will give us uh, 14 is 112 so 2 uh, 11 carry so 112 and 11 is 123 so 3 and uh, 2 12 carry 14 nines are 126, so 138, so 8 and a 13 carry, and then 14 ones are 14 and 13, this is 27, so 27832. Now start writing from the unit digit 1, unit digit 2, and the 200 gets added here. This gives us 2, 3, and a plus 2 10, 0, 1 carry, so this is 8, and this is 2. Now pick up the calculators friends and check is the cube of 141 2803221 and you are going to be really really surprised by the accuracy of the result. Now you might argue that this is taking more time than traditional approach but there is no harm in learning something new right. This technique of cubing you hardly find it anywhere in, in, uh, in any book or on the internet. This is real maths if you love maths practice this and i'm sure you are going to consume less time than the traditional approach let's have one more question let's complicate the problem like 311 cube how about this so when i have to do 311 cube i have to do 311 times 311 times 311 right and for squaring i need to write one followed by 31 plus 31 which is 62 and 31 into 31 which is 961 31 square is 961 so this number becomes 1 here so I will write a 1 2 
and the 6 gets added here this becomes 967 so 96721 is the square of 311 so this actually is you know the shortest possible method of squaring numbers ending in 1 and now I have another 311 so I have to multiply this by 311 so what do I have to do I have a 9672 which I have to multiply by the number here 31 and then 9672 then add them 31 and finally I have to write the 1 so I don't think this 1 is a problem neither of uh, these things are a problem right and the addition is also not a problem 2 plus 1 this is 3 7 plus 3 which is 10 0 and a 1 carry means 7 and a 9 and then the multiplication part this is the only thing in the entire calculation which might trouble you and for your simplicity sake I have done it already for you this is 2 9 9 8 3 2 right and finally we have the answer let's start writing from here 1 3 this 970 gets added here so this gives me a 2 and then 10 means 0 and a 1 carry so this is 18 8 1 carry 10 0 1 carry 10 0 1 carry and a 3 and now look at the answer 3 0 0 8 0 2 3 1 that is the cube of 311 isn't that interesting mathematics is full of such wonderful wonderful methods which you can actually enjoy and if you are a mathematics teacher you can start telling your students right from the class 6 7th level you know so that they are not dependent on the institutes you know who are running uh, you know classes for teaching all these things when the students have to appear in their competitive exams so if you have enjoyed this do share it with all your friends who are at school level or who are preparing for any government competitive exam this is really going to be beneficial for all of them and do not forget to comment whether you like this video or not all the best for your practice